So there is really nothing uh, new that I would add to, in addition to what we have been communicating uh, before or until now. Maybe just to stress that there is no need for last minute attempt because we are engaged in ongoing activities. Um, if you have been following the exchanges uh, by the foreign ministers uh, during their last uh, video conference when they were discussing the issue of the Middle East, uh, one month ago, there was clear agreement that uh, we would proceed uh, by using all the diplomatic means in order to prevent the annexation from happening, engaging with all the partners, with Israelis, Palestinians, the United States, the, um, all the actors in the region, and uh, to make sure that we don't need to go into the speculations and, um, and considerations what to do if. So all the efforts, not last minute efforts, but ongoing uh, constant efforts uh, over the last few weeks have been focused on explaining how dangerous and destabilizing this unilateral move, which is in violation of the international law, would be, and focusing all, all our energies and efforts to prevent this from happening. And if it happens, then we would need to react accordingly. But we are not there yet. And uh, sorry, yeah. on, on the travels, uh, indeed, you've seen that HRVP is now visiting uh, two member states, Greece and Cyprus. And as he stressed also uh, several times, he is ready to travel also to the Middle East. When the conditions allow it, we have to take into account also the health advice uh, related to coronavirus pandemic still. And uh, when there is a need, he's always ready to travel to speak to the partners on the ground.